What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're just kind of buttoning up some wiring. So basically, this is all the wiring that will be needed. Actually, those ones aren't even needed either. It's basically just your uh, marker light, turn signal, and uh, let's see which one is it. This one right here is your headlight, so I'll be only using those three plugs really. So I'm going to strip all that wiring back all the way till it comes through the fender well. And then uh, the same thing with this side. I don't need any, all of these relays and uh, fusible link box. I mean, none of these fusible links are really even used anymore. The only one that's used is the one that controls the, uh, the body lighting of the car. So everything else is 370 wired. So I still need to... Uh, button this up and get this all tucked up in there and re-sheathed and get this hidden up and then we'll get the uh, fender put on, get it drilled in for the holes so we can actually mount it. And then we'll eventually we'll be getting around to painting the fenders. So we'll pull those back off and get that all painted. I'm um, hoping to get this car done by Christmas. I know that's a long shot, but, and by done, I mean it can just move, you know, it can without having to do all extravagant shit. We did get a new radiator. Third time's the charm. Uh, that's actually from, uh, I wanna say it was an RX-7 radiator. Something, it was some Mazda. It was the only one that was gonna fit in between this bar right there. And then eventually we're gonna have to figure out what the fuck to do with this bar right here. Because it, had taken some damage over the years and it's not it's not straight anymore as you can tell this side is like an inch higher than this side so that's not good um we might end up remaking this out of some um square stock or something like that square t square tubing i don't know we'll figure something out i'll figure it out but uh as for now everything's looking pretty pretty good um I got like all, all the uh, header wrap and all the, like the uh, aluminum wrap stuff that goes around like electronics and fuel lines. So I'm just kind of wrapping things that are close to headers, like both fuel lines right there. Uh, obviously we got the header wrapped and everything last night. It was a pain in the ass because I'd already Loctited everything. <laughs> so taking everything off that was Loctited sucked, but it came off and went back on, no problem. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far, so we'll get that all taken care of. I did have to kind of track down what was going on with the uh, marker lights on this thing. The literal only circuit left on the car, and it was having issues. And uh, it turned out that my marker light, I had lost this little clip that goes from the light, well, I mean, you know, from the light to the, uh, the harness. So I uh, went over to my parts area and I grabbed a clip that I thought would work perfectly from uh, this little doodad right here. But it turned out that that clip, here it is. Okay, so I thought this would just, you know, straight through connection and everything. But every time I would turn the lights on, uh, the relay would be buzzing like crazy and uh, it wasn't liking it. So I looked at everything and I unplugged everything one by one and, and it kept blowing a fuse. And then it turned out to be this little stupid clip that I had uh, put on there. I didn't realize it, but inside of it, which is weird, there's like a fucking resistor in there. So I should have known because it had this little symbol on it that like, hey, something's inside this. But who would have thought that there would have been something inside of a, a freaking clip? So I ended up having to go out to the parts bin and grabbing another clip. So we got that all done. Um, this car, the reason its hood is up, it spun a rod bearing a few years ago, and it's literally just been sitting ever since. So hopefully when this car is done and can move, I can focus my attention back onto this one. And sadly, it looks like we're going to have to pull the entire motor and do a rebuild on it because there was a little bit of flake in the oil. But there's a shop in town that has offered to just pull the pan off and do the rod bearings and see if we can just maybe get away with it hopefully fingers crossed that that would work 
it would be a lot cheaper than having to do a full rebuild on this thing because just the gasket kit, just the fucking gasket kit is like $700 for this motor. Crazy. So, let's uh, finish up with what we're doing right here with this wiring and get that all pulled out of the way and tucked up and not looking all nasty. So let's get at it. God, you gotta love wiring. We got a nuclear warhead. Holy shit! What's wrong, MacGruber? The fuck is this? It's a warhead, MacGruber. You can defuse it, right? Are you kidding me? Look at all this crap. It's like a million wires in here. I'm like a three-wire guy. Look at this wire. Where did where does this go? What is that? There's a green one. And there's like a bunch of green. All right, it's all uh, tucked back up. Got this is now the new wiring harness. So instead of that giant thing that came across with all those wires, it's now just enough for the basically headlights, parking light, turn signal. And uh, I did keep the horn just in case I wanted to run a horn again. Uh, this side, I just got done making its harness. So this would be the headlight. Obviously, marker lights plugged in and parking lights plugged in, blinkers plugged in. I'm um, going to have to mount this somewhere right here. Might have to go out to my parts car and grab the bracket because I don't know where it went. And then remount that there. Uh, put up a couple ground wires. This is the wiring that isn't going to be used. <laughs> so, quite a sub substantial bit. Normally, they only have that much kinked around right here, factory. So, there will be a bunch more wiring back here when we're done. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We're basically all done with the uh, the uh, wiring harness though. Now I can just button it up, get the fender put back on, and uh, we're good. Um, speaking of fenders, we're gonna get these all painted up here pretty soon. I'm not gonna do like a big old paint job like we did with the GTR, just because it's just the fenders and everything for now. I'll just do a quick little scuff and puff spray on those and um, try to paint match it as well as I can with the rest of the car like the doors hatch and whatnot. I got some new mirrors that are black so I need to paint those as well. So we'll get that going as well. Um, what else was there? As far as all of the intercooler piping and everything, I'm still up on the fence about either running aluminum piping or if I should just get uh, some stainless steel piping uh, if I get stainless steel piping and do it that way, I could probably just make it myself. Whereas if it's aluminum piping, my welder doesn't weld aluminum. I mean, I got a spool gun attachment and it kind of welds aluminum, but it's just, it puts way too much material out and it looks like shit. So I don't want to go that route. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at so far. So it's looking pretty good. It's coming right along. I'm happy with the progress. <laughs> Uh, eventually we will, like I've said it a bunch, we will have to straighten out that bottom bar right there to get everything kind of geometry lined up and everything. But I'm real happy with how everything has turned out so far. I mean, hell, even the uh, the little steering sensor doodad down there. Here, I'll show you that. Yeah, well, this is handmade quality shit we're talking here. Not looking too bad. It's not the best welds, but they hold. I still need to figure out a CV cap to go over that, but you know what? It is what it is, and it looks all right. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at so far. I'll uh, probably wrap this episode up. So don't forget to give us a like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps. See you on the next one.